peace and prosperity this is Isaiah mystic coming to you all with another message to help you free your heart and soul right now i'm going to talk to you guys today about how your thoughts create your reality and how your mind is a muscle and just some of the things that and the things that happen within our experience that can stimulate our process of creation so I've been pulling the Osho Zen card lately called consciousness and the co the consciousness card is basically the best card in relationship to the mind to pull because it's it signifies that you are actually in control of your mind you're actually the master of your mind and once you become the master of your mind you become you're in the driver's seat of your life so i've been looking at my life and the past three years three plus years actually i've been looking into way more than three years <laughs> But I've been looking at my life and I've been seeing the highs and how I've been at my highest. And I've also been recognizing the lows and how I've been at my lowest. And everything that has come to me has um, really shown me how our mind begins to create our reality and how when we tap into the body, we can also tap into the mind and when we tap into the spirit we can also tap into the mind so both of these energies have access to our mental sphere and our mind is the synchronicity of spirit and body so when we tap into our body through connecting with nature and planting seeds and um you know gardening working out Feeding the right information to our bodies, whether it be food, whether it be people, whether it be spaces, um, you know, environments. All of this feeds our body information, which in turn allows our mind to be in a certain state of being. When we meditate, when we breathe, when we do yoga, when we listen to music, when we, um, you know, do our sound therapy, when we... Uh, do those more spiritual things versus the physical things, you know, massages, acupuncture, bodily, earthly things. And we do the spiritual things that are less tangible, more phys more spiritual, you know, the Reiki, the energy readings, the oracle readings. All of this also grants us access to programming our minds and elevating our minds and putting our minds in a space that is able to deliberately think the thoughts that actually serve what we want to experience. When we let our mind run what we run our lives, right? Because this is how I know, you know, somebody who is um, a psychic versus um, a pessimist, because there are a lot of psychics that you can go to there are a lot of people who can read you that will give you readings that are like doomsday readings, you know, like, oh my gosh, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. You can't do this. It's a lot of fear, you know, embodied in that. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm telling the future. But really, you're not. You're not telling the future. You're not telling the future. You're focusing on the aspects of the future that... You're focusing on the aspects of the future that you are pay that you are deciding to pay the most attention to. Basically, you're not telling the future. You're just focusing on the aspects of the future that you want to focus on because there's many aspects to the future. But what part of the part of that future are you going to focus on, and are you going to deliver to people? And that's the same thing that like doctors do when you go into a doctor's office. You know, they, they give you an assessment and a prediction, you know, based off of the facts that they see. But the same person that tells you that you have three months to live, there's another person that will tell you 
something completely different based off of what they decide to focus on in their their own you know personal belief systems so ultimately when you are using your thoughts to create your reality you need to also ask yourself what belief system am i holding in relationship to these thoughts do i believe that there are incurable diseases that cannot be cured do i believe that you know other people have more power over me and so that's why they are enabled to do certain things in my life and have a um, certain power in my life you know what are your belief systems um also when it comes to your thoughts and how your thoughts create your reality knowing that your mind is a muscle and being in the driver's seat of your life also means that you don't get reactive to when you actually have an opportunity to walk in your power and in the driver's seat of your life so that means when you have an opportunity presented to you how do you react to that opportunity those those oppor those situations that we get triggered from are actually opportunities for us to create um like if somebody asks you a question about you know how much money you have or you know can you afford this you know can you do this financially and you know you get all reactive because you have a lot of trauma around money so you get all reactive and you end up furthering the creative energy of being in a place of lack when really that's an opportunity for you to be in the creative space of producing abundance so if somebody's asking you a question about your finances and what you could do and your intentions that's a perfect opportunity for you to be like yeah i have a lot of yeah i have a lot of opportunity i have I have a whole I have a lot of money I, have, I can do this I can do that I can um, you know I have a, all the resources you know we can do this you know and you might you might realistically you might be like yeah <laughs> realistically but it doesn't serve you to be in that space it serves you to be in that space to be like yeah i can make it happen i or yeah i can i can do this we can we're gonna receive everything that we need to do this and you know i sincerely desire to do this i, I can just imagine myself you know doing this thing and feeling this way in relationship to this thing you know it could be anything say that you want to go on a trip you know to mexico you know or any place in the world and you're looking at the tick you're looking at the price tickets like uh you know or even talking to you know the people about who are running the you know travel program you're talking to them and you're like oh you know i really want to go but no you have to be like i can't wait to go i'm so excited i just feel so amazed by everything that's going on over there it would just be so beautiful to be on the beach and those are your opportunities you know um when people ask you those triggering questions you know what i'm saying whether it be about your relationship you know you might be ha have a relationship with someone that you wish was better so don't focus on what's not going right in the relationship yes you want to give yourself the opportunity to vent and see where you're at however after a while you want to move away from that place and you want to move closer to you know yeah uh, you know we're we're good now it didn't really work out before but things are getting better and you know i i don't really we didn't really mean to say the things we said to each other and hurt each other in those ways and you know at the end of the day we really we really do love each other and um you know we might not see eye to eye but you know it's okay for them to feel this way and it's okay for me to feel this way and i know that there are people out there that do agree with me and do love me you know you want to whatever is triggering triggering you that's your opportunity for creation and that is how your thoughts create your reality because the universe will begin to respond to that energy and the universe will begin to say okay yeah she's she's in this vibration before she was in this vibration but now she's in this vibration and it's just going to keep rising and rising and rising the more that you practice 
Um, the more that you practice these thoughts, the more that you practice being in this vibration of not reacting, but intentionally being in the driver's seat of what you decide to say and think in response to situations, and also what you decide to believe about yourself. So to truly believe something about yourself, you have to respond a certain way when life comes at you, when life uh, presents you with situations and you know opportunities or whatever. If you believe that you are worthy and you know you deserve a certain type of treatment, when people come to you, how are you responding? Are you responding, you know, in a way that is just accepting of things that you know you don't even you don't really like or are you responding in a way oh thank you so much i appreciate that <laughs> um yeah that was so sweet see and see look the universe just sent me somebody to tell me to keep going keep doing what i'm doing i thought i looked a little raggedy with this little headband on and these glasses and this turtleneck but you know it's it's just be in that state of um that vibration because even though i had that thought i was like whatever like i i look good regardless i'm i'm high vibrational regardless and people are attracted to me i'm magnetic people are magnetized to me and you know so yeah i just wanted to share that um really quick on how your thoughts create your reality um and how the universe gives us opportunities to continuously raise our vibration um and align to what it is that we want versus you seeing these opportunities as setbacks and um challenges you know um it's nothing that you need to overcome it's just something that you need to go downstream with this is something that you need to flow with it's um that downstream energy you know people will give you the opportunity to speak your life into existence people will ask you questions people will ask you questions and they'll be just waiting for you to sound like you don't like yourself to sound like you have low self-worth um to tell your love and hip-hop story you know they'll just be wanting that energy and then when you deliver something completely different that is so high they're gonna be like oh this is weird this is interesting you know i'm so used to people being this way you know and then you begin to re literally just continuously raise your vibration and attract what it is that you want um just stay consistent you know with honoring your body and honoring your spirit you know um and your mind will always be centered and your mind will always be in a state of complete control and complete awareness and consciousness yeah okay so i'm gonna go back inside and finish playing with these babies uh like and subscribe let me know what you think about this video in the comments and i will catch you all in the next video peace